Right, I realise this might not be the message that some people are looking for just after Christmas when they might well have received uh, a fair bit of kit. Especially you blokes out there that want to strap something technical to your arm. <laughs> um, but if you are fit, you do not need a fit bit. And I will say this now because actually I don't think anybody needs a fit bit. Um, one of the things that we keep coming across, both my wife and I, and we've got friends and family that have this, so this is not denigrating those that uh, do strap those things to the wrist. But it's really just a simple point here. I can see why having uh, a fit bit might encourage you to do a little bit more exercise. That makes sense. <clears throat> but, and I suppose it will motivate you because of course it's telling you that you've done a wonderful job that day and stepped more than you did the day before. But what I'm certainly noticing is that in focusing on that, how many steps that you've done, what happens when you have a day when you've only done 4,000 steps rather than the six or seven that you were hoping for? Even if you're a rational person, that's probably going to have, at least briefly, a negative impact on your psychology. You'll feel a little bit low by the simple fact that you haven't done what you already intended on doing. And of course, when you're out walking, I bet you were constantly looking at your wrist. Oh, I've done 5,000 steps. Oh, I've done 5,500 steps. And that takes you out of what you're meant to be doing, what you're meant to be experiencing when you're outside in nature, assuming it is in nature. Because much like the video I did on um, engaging your senses, that's when you get more out of a walk. It's not the amount of steps that you're doing. In my opinion, bin that technology. Or don't bin it, sell it to somebody else that wants it. But advise them that they don't need it because instead of focusing on how many steps you've done, instead focus on your intention behind the walk. Your intention should be, I want to enjoy this time away from technology. I want to experience nature. I want to smell the smells of uh, that that's around me. I want to hear the sound of birds and uh, I want to feel and touch the earth and, and the trees. That's when you're going to get a much better physiological response because your mind then is taken away from that analytical thinking. You know, you're not going to come back after a good walk if all you've been doing is looking at your wrist along the way. You won't remember the experience that you've had. And also it means that your prefrontal cortex has been chattering away at you saying, oh, walk a few more steps, walk a few more steps. So anyway, good morning. Good morning. Herein lies my brief message to you all. I don't think anybody needs a Fitbit. I can understand why some people justify having one, but I would urge you all Go for a walk without one. You don't need it. Anyway, evolution of Dave signing off. Thank you. Bye-bye.